guys, welcome to today's thrift vlog. We have found an authentic vintage Gucci in white. A big black leather Loewe tote. And the ultra sought after Dooney and Burke, kind of like a patch tote. I don't know the real name for it, but we found that. So I'm actually getting all of those. And then down here is a little coach. Okay, so here's a Dooney and Burke, but it's not the real deal. And then this beautiful Oxblood coach back here. This one is 150. Um, and then there's this little coach bag back here. I'm not sure what the price is. And then over here is like the mid-range bag. We've got a little coach here. This guy, Dooney and Burke. 30 bucks for that. This Michael Kors is 55. This is a fake Michael Kors, actually. I don't know if they know that. A snake bag. It actually feels like real snake, you guys, and it's vintage. Um, don't know the price on it. Love the colors, though, and the pinks and purples. Or is this one of those Izzy Mi Miyaki? Uh, how do you, can you say that name? No, it is actually no name at all. 35 super cute Brighton tote for 30 and then the little Michael Kors pop top case and I don't see a price on that and it's in so in my cart I have this really pretty um, Michael Rome it's gonna be cleaned up it's gorgeous red croc emboss tote and then I can't leave this one behind because it's super retro let me get this for you guys here i'm gonna put the tag around so this is genuine leather too shoulder bag adorable we're gonna pick this one up too and it's a nordstrom's brand so that's coming home with me so over here is like all the travel bags backpacks i was gonna get this but i don't know if anybody's gonna want it it's totally me putting like little buttons and ribbons and things on it but i don't know if that's everybody else's piece of cake not sure although this backpack here is actually pretty pretty cool it's got the leather looks like a humble helo kind of almost but i don't i've noticed that um the backpacks are not selling as well as they used to i'm not sure if it's because they're out of style now or people are just preferring handbags but this little yellow coach is adorable um but it has this on the back and I don't know if I can get that out of patent leather. It's gonna be really tough. So I'm gonna pass on that one. We're gonna go ahead and keep that little guy here. And then there's lots and lots of other little guys to go through. I thought this one was really cute too, very boho. Kind of like a big patch um, tote, loving that. Really cute. And there's this little rack of bags. You just kind of got to dig and search and you're going to find treasures. Would be really cool if I would have found the uh, Gucci and the Loewe back here, right you guys? I will get them authenticated before I list them though. I've been doing that it's safer for me and you both. At first I was just, you know, going off what I thought. Nine times out of ten, I was right, but I have been wrong a couple times, so I admit it. And now, we're doing it, we're authenticating it the correct way. Oh, here's a little denim, denim backpack back here. It's kind of cute. This one I love. This is very 80s, or very Y2K, I should say, actually. Very cute little leather shoulder bag. It's got the little braided um, flaps on it. Genuine leather. Love this, but I don't know if anybody else would love it. So we're gonna keep it here, you guys. What do we have here? We have a little leather backpack by Latico. Now, if you guys don't know, Latico is a lot like, resembles very much Hobo International. The leather's the same, the quality's the same. Pretty cool. Oops. All right, what is this pink guy down here? Just a no name, little cutie. $6.99. All right, then here is wallet section up on top of the racks here. 
There's a little red cutie, but it's pretty messed up. So there's the wallets. Nothing great here in the wallet section today. Lots of little pouches in here. And this little section over here. I love coming here because I'm very, very much into the Y2K bags for my own personal use. And I like coming here because there's a lot of them. This is a leather tote. This is nice. $8.99 for that gigantic leather tote right there. Let's see who's it by. Got a zip top. It is by... Here you go. Let's see who it's by. If you're wondering, no, I didn't pick it up. Somebody's gonna probably hate me for that. But I've got enough brown leather totes at home. I've gotta get rid of those first. If you're wondering, you guys, if you're new to my channel, hi, I thrift and resell handbags and accessories of all name brands, styles, prices, from the lowest of lowest prices to the highest of highest prices depending on the designer. Let's see what we have over here. Avenue, who remembers that store? That's faux leather, but the chains on it are adorable. Just fab. It's actually a vintage piece and it feels like new book. Who are you? Sorry about my nails, guys. I've been going through a lot of stress lately and I've been picking at all my polish. A lot going down. But we keep on keeping on, don't we? Yes, we do. Let's see, what else do we have in here? That's full leather, I can just tell by feeling it heck is in there? Oh, snap. Somebody took off the, um, the, uh, alarm thing. This is big. Catherine Maldoranic Bronio. Is cute. This has been here a long time, but it sure is cute. It's just kind of like a cloth mesh and faux leather. I love the strap on it. Not real leather though, so I'll pass. You, got, you ladies and gents love your leather, but so do I. Here's a vintage piece back here. That's genuine leather, actually. Reminds me of a Paloma Picasso, except for braided, or else maybe like Nordstrom's. Ew, it feels yucky on the inside, though. Oh, Talbot's. So that's the bag area. All right, let's go out to the car and see what we found. Okay, you guys, so here we are in the car and I'm gonna show you the beautiful pieces that I got. Now, the first three are actually from a different thrift store before, um, before I came here. So there's this Marc Jacobs wallet in a black pebbled leather. It's in really nice condition. Just gonna take it home and do my thing. If you're new, hello, my name's Pershurban and all these beautiful pieces that you see are going to be dropped on my website for sale www.pursetrippin.com 
this there's no way i could pass this up i know one of you guys or ladies are going to love this one it's a vintage clutch in the most beautiful rose tapestry it has little gold foil string in it as well on the front and the back just a beautiful beautiful purse vintage then you know me i see butterflies or lotus you know i'm gonna pick them up and that is what this is it's a lotus butterfly you can use it as a clutch a wristlet a cosmetic case a key ball it says lotus right here in gold foil look at all the gorgeous butterflies it is genuine leather in case anybody's wondering it has multiple credit card slots on the inside and is in brand new condition you guys saw this in the store because now we're going to get on to the haul of the bags that um, we purchased in here it's a cherry red y2k from nordstrom's looks like a little satch or not a satchel but a messenger but it's a shoulder bag how cute is this i will go ahead and make sure that's nice and um Oh, it goes, wait a minute, how's that go? Oh, that's right, that's right. So these are two functional pockets. And then on the inside, you've got a leather Nordstrom's card pocket, a zipper, and two open pockets. Perfect brand new condition. And it is a really nice medium sized genuine leather bag. These are hot on TikTok. Hot, hot, hot on TikTok. Where's my red lovers out there? If you're a red lover like I am, let me know let me let me know then this one i actually got comps on this one and these are selling for near a hundred dollars so there's no way i'm going to pass it up and it's the most beautiful red croc embossed and what was the name again that i call that this one is called um michael rome i believe yes michael rome made in italy a really gorgeous multi-pocket tote and then, you know, I just kind of go through the basics of the bag because you're going to see tons of pictures and then I'm going to show a video. Every Thursday I show a video of the bags that are dropping on my website every Thursday night at 5.30 p.m. Pacific. So this one too is in a beautiful, beautiful condition. Sort of a reddish burgundy tote. Okay, and then, looky looky you guys. I took mine out of my shop because I wanted it so bad, but I found this one today here. If anybody would like this beauty. Um, so there is wear, but I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna get these scratches out. I'm just gonna moisturize the heck out of it. Um, this is a new buck, this here, and then this is a pebbled, almost a smooth, but it's a pebbled leather, Dooney and Burke. I kept mine, there's no way I could sell it. So here's this one. The inside looks amazing, super clean. So there's that guy. And then we got this. This is the one I'm gonna have authenticated. This is a Gucci, vintage Gucci white. You can see the little lettering on it, white crossbody. I'm just going to clean her up. She's gonna clean up very nicely. And let's show you the inside. There's the inside there. The number is right back here. And then it's also got another pocket right here. Um, it's just beautiful. It's got the little Gucci chain little key or not key the little um, charm that's on the inside zipper so I'm gonna fix up the corners because there's a little rub on the corners and that's gonna fix up beautifully and she's gonna shine like a brand new diamond when I'm all done with her but first I'm gonna get her authenticate no actually no yeah authenticator before I clean her up authenticator before I clean her up always authenticate before you clean up because sometimes they won't authenticate it if it has any type of, um, like if I were to touch up the corners with um, touch up paint or anything, then nine chances out of 10, it would come back as they're not gonna authenticate it. 
it's just the way they roll so that's okay i'll authenticate it first and then this is a loewe i have never in my life owned or thrifted a loewe and it's a beautiful black leather tote bag gorgeous only problem with it guys is the zipper is not working so i don't know if my husband can get it back on its track because as you see here it won't zip properly so my husband he's good at fixing that stuff um it does have the original pull right here the loewe pull here is the loewe marking um zipper pull. It's super, super clean on the inside with the zipper pocket and then it's got two open pockets and then a, two slip pockets on the opposite side. As you can see, the corners and bottom are excellent condition. It's got like a beige um, contrast stitching. It's stamped Loewe right there. So I will not be selling this until it's authenticated either. And then the straps, everything is perfect except for the doggone zipper pull, but we're gonna do our very best to get that fixed up for you. Um, see what happens. So the strap is a little bit adjustable, the Loewe, uh, is marked on the hardware. Never in my life have owned a Loewe bag, but she is beautiful. Got one of my hair in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous black. And then the little design right there is a taupe leather. Look at the straps. Everything's so, so pretty. Okay, so is that it? Yeah, oh yeah, I did the Gucci. That's it, you guys. I think today's haul is pretty fantastic, if you ask me. I'm gonna go home, start working on all this, get the video up for you guys, and ooh, I look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like the, the goofball I am today. All right, you guys, have a super wonderful rest of your day, and let me know in the description box what you think of these bags. I think it's pretty stinking cool. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys on next video. Bye, everybody.